Ken Okel understands productivity. He's been an award-winning journalist, led hurricane relief volunteers, and kept a professional ballet company open during a recession. Today, this author takes audiences on an engaging, empowering, and entertaining journey. When was that last time you took a chance or a risk? And how did that make you feel? So you have so many things that are going through your mind that you don't know what to do. And it's not about competence, but you're overwhelmed with all the choices. Where did all that time go? I was here for eight hours or nine hours, but I just didn't get anything done. So what happened? Well, some people like to do this thing where they come in early, they stay late, and they work through lunch. The idea being, you can get more done when other people are not around. Now, I have tried this, and yeah, it works. But the problem is that you're coming in early, you're staying late, and you're working through lunch. And over time, you're going to start to burn out. <laughs> this is most people's day. You have a certain amount of stuff that you have to do. You feel like I'm competent, I'm able to get all this stuff done. But then, oh, Ken, we need you to do something else. Okay. <laughs> It's a little bit more, but I can manage it. I'll just take a shorter lunch or do something else. I'll, I'll figure it out. But then another person comes on and, oh, we need you to help with this. And, oh, could you be on this committee too? And I start to panic. It was perfect. And, and it kind of inspires a lot of other people that were there to say, you know, hey, sometimes you have to have a little fear to get a little joy and a little more inspired. It's really hard to sometimes see the light at the end of the tunnel when things pile up and clearing the path and having that mentality to clear things and just kind of have it explained a little better. It was really nice to listen to. And she's like, well, I'm a little nervous. Something's wrong with the car. It's not starting. I don't know how much it's going to cost. And he's like, don't worry at all. I will look into it. And he starts to walk away and he goes, you know, ma'am, two of our mechanics are outstanding and two of them have no clue. And then he walks away. <laughs> now I'm sitting there, and I'm like, which one do I have? <laughs> and I look at the officer, and he goes, you want to get attacked by a killer? <laughs> and I got to tell you, killer is the name of the police dog. We've just done the story on. And I look over at the dog, and the dog's kind of like, ah, yeah, yeah, come on, come on, bring it on, bring it on. So it's kind of one of those out-of-body experiences where you hear this voice coming out of you that says, yes. <laughs> so then, a second later, I am putting on a padded suit. I want you to run. I'm like, you want me to run? He goes, yeah, just run. Killer will do the rest. So I start to run. And then I kind of hear him say something like, get him. And there's a sonic boom and this blur that is coming towards me really fast. And then before I know it, killer grabs me and I go down. When you're attacked by a police dog and you're wearing a padded suit, it is extremely difficult to get back up. You're kind of like a turtle who's on his back. I'm kind of like, uh oh, this is going to be hard. But eventually, they pull me back up, and my heart is beating. I mean, whoa, adrenaline rush. And I scan myself over, and okay, everything still seems to be where it's supposed to be. Okay, this is fun. Wow, I tried something new. The officer can kind of see I'm having you know, an okay time. So he goes, You want to do something else? Did you know a pair of point shoes that a ballerina wears? Those have to be specialty made. They're $100 to $125 each. And the ballerina, she could go through that in one performance or one rehearsal. And I can't say to her, could you dance a little less? <laughs> Talk about opportunities to pop up that you don't expect at one station. They said, we got an opening for a part-time weatherman. You want to do it? I said, I don't know anything about weather, but OK. <laughs> so before long, 
I'm talking about, hey, the jet stream's starting to come down into our area, so that cooler flow is going to be coming down, which could bring a chance of showers later in the afternoon, so you might want to bring that umbrella on your way home. <laughs> Still got it. Need more productivity? Experience Ken Oakle at your next meeting.